Cold Startup 2017 Corvette Stingray with a Corsa X-Pipe and the NPP exhaust. underneath the car right now remove that tunnel cover it's 22 bolts holding it on aside from these two we're gonna remove the hanger and then the two clamps in the back work to the front you're gonna need a 15 too you need a 15 deep all right so it's in now got the hangers on we're about to put the plate back on that's james hey <laughs> uh we're all set can't wait to turn it on and see what it sounds like. We're gonna put the uh, skid plate back on, button it all up, and hope it sounds good. We'll be okay. back. The car's back on the ground. This is gonna be the first startup with the Corsa Double Helix X Plate. See how it sounds. Okay guys, so that was the install of the Double Helix Corsa X-Pipe for the C7. Um, what I've noticed thus far is I think that the RPMs kind of climb a little bit faster than they did before, a, lot of less, a little bit less resistance. What I did notice is from outside the car, everybody tells me the car sounds a lot better than it did. Inside the vehicle, I feel like it got a little bit quieter. Um, what I did notice is at startups and stuff like that, it sounds a little bit louder, it's a little bit more crisp. I'll start it up for you now, but. So just like that, I mean, it, it sounds a little bit louder at startup, but while driving it, I kind of feel like it almost got a little bit deeper. Um, I haven't really been on it. I just drove it home yesterday and that was it. Once I give it some gas, I'll report back on that. As far as like horsepower gains, I don't know. May maybe seat of the pants, five horsepower. I don't know. Um, I'll check that out a little bit later and see if I gain anything overall. But it, other than noticing that the RPM seemed to climb a little bit faster, that's basically the, the benefit that I've seen thus far. Um, we did delete two of the cats or resonators from it. So, I mean, that, that should free up some, some air. It was lighter than the, the stock X-Pipe that was on there. Um, so we'll see, that, that's basically the only update that I have for you thus far. Um, now having the Corvette for about three weeks now, I put on just about 800 miles on it loving it so far uh better gas mileage than what i had in the jeep which is actually nice um other than that everything's been good with it uh some of the next mods that i want to do i'm currently researching maybe a cold air intake and a throttle body if you guys have any input on that anybody with a c7 that that's tried out a few of them let me know um i did find out from the previous owner i found his name inside the glove box this vehicle has the stock intake on it but it has a K&N filter in there. So I'm um, interesting to see if I feel anything different with a different one uh, aftermarket. Any input or anything that you guys have, let me know. As always, this is Tony, TMOGO116, telling you everything that I do with the vet. Uh, see you guys soon. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, any feedback as far as an intake or a throttle body goes, greatly appreciated. Thanks guys, have a good one. Okay guys, so I take that back when I said that the car seemed a little bit quieter. Uh, last night I drove very conservatively going home, it was a little late, didn't wanna wake anybody up, and, and I drove it and it felt like the car was a little quieter. The ride to work this morning, this thing comes alive over 3000 RPMs and it really sounds good and now I understand why 
maybe yesterday I didn't hear it because I was listening too hard, whatever, but like up to 3,000, it sounded normal. Over 3,000, it really breaks open and sounds awesome. I'm gonna get my GoPro and, and maybe in a later video, I'll mount it outside the car and go for a ride so you guys could hear it. But yeah, I, I take that back and it is not quieter than the stock one. Maybe around under 3,000, it sounds very similar and I didn't notice anything different. But when you're wide open or 3,000 or better, it sounds a lot better, a lot deeper. You can hear it's a lot more throaty, a uh, lot deeper. It really comes alive after like 3,000 RPMs. And I really think after the week that I've had it on, it broke in a little bit and it just sounds a lot better. As always guys, this is Tony, Team Mogo 116, where I show you everything that I'm gonna be doing to my vet. Uh, stay tuned in the next video. I already ordered a cold air intake for the vet. We're gonna be installing that. And more to come, I think I might do the stage three wicker in the middle. I'm not sure yet.